Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dave Kemp from the Tombstone Gun Range and Training Center. So here's what we have today. We had a customer bring in a, an AR-15 to us that had a shell casing stuck in the chamber. And we see this quite a bit, usually with dirty guns, which is what I think the case was uh, with this customer, but could not get the shell casing out and really honestly didn't know if it was a live round or not. Um, so they had tried to punch it out from the barrel with a cleaning rod. They had tried to pry it out with pliers. The customer had really messed up uh, the shell casing to the point where it was going to be tough to get a typical case puller. Uh, Brownell sells uh, case pullers that have a collet that locks on to the head of the shell casing. Uh, but the casing was so damaged that that might have been a tough way to go. So we decided to improvise and try a little something else to push this out from the barrel end. Uh, so what the plan was, was we had a fitting made out of a block of aluminum that's threaded to fit the barrel with a grease fitting on one end. The gas block, we've turned it to about 90 degrees so that the gas port is now closed off. And we filled the barrel with hydraulic oil and with a grease gun, we are going to try and push the casing out of the chamber uh, of the barrel. So how this fits on, it just we had it threaded uh, for this uh, thread size. Screw that on all the way to fill the void up inside of there. Like that. <clears throat> I'm going to hook the grease gun up and we're going to give it a little bit of pressure and see uh, if we can get this thing to come out. So here we go. It's probably going to be like having a kid. <laughs> there it goes. And it vomits the rest of the fluid and everything out. Um, so we've got a barrel. Free now, it took probably. Uh, just one or two pumps with a grease gun. So we're not adding a whole lot of pressure as a pretty safe way to get that round out without adding a whole lot of pressure to a live round. So if uh, you want some information on what this is. Now the downside is, is we do have a barrel that's full of hydraulic oil and a little bit of grease, but just throw this in a parts cleaner for a little bit and scrub that out and you'll be good. So uh, we were able to improvise uh, with something here at the shop and it worked real well. So talk to you next time.